One of the questions I get all the time, and, and I'm never quite sure how to answer it, is why didn't the fertilizer break down? And you and I know it's a filler, but why is the filler in the fertilizer? No, great question. It's one that we get a ton, and uh, it is very confusing because when you're when you're out there, you know, playing in the yard or, or looking at the grass or whatever, and you and you see basically pebbles down there uh, underneath the canopy, and, and, and you know you just paid for this fertilizer application. Yeah. Why isn't it breaking down and, and helping feed the plant? The short answer is it makes it easier for you guys to be able to spread the fertilizer. It, it's very difficult for most of the lawn care equipment that's currently on the market to be able to spread under about three pounds per thousand square feet. So it's more of the commercial applicator equipment that needs that filler to disperse it correctly. Exactly, to be able to help take the nutrients and carry them and throw them in a very even manner okay. uh, so that you get, you get good distribution on the lawn. Depending upon what the fertilizer source is and what round it is and what you're trying to accomplish at that particular time, there could be anywhere from 20 to 60% fill material in the bag, which literally uh, is pebbles. I mean, it's, it's, it's tiny little manufactured um, pieces of rock uh, that are, are blended with the fertilizer components, uh, the nitrogen, the phosphorus, the potassium, the calcium, whatever else might be in that bag, to help disperse those nutrients across the lawn in a more even manner. Now, is there any value to these rocks? Or is there any detriment to these rocks? Or it just becomes part of the soil profile? Yeah, there's, there's, it's very inert. Uh, okay. there's, there's really no pros or cons to it other than the fact that your phone rings, people asking why the fertilizer isn't breaking down. So there are other options in the industry as well uh, that, that we've kind of moved to now uh, at various times of the year where it makes sense, where you can, you can change that rock filler and put some different types of materials in the bag to take the place of that filler to help disperse the other nutrients the way that we discussed earlier. And a couple examples of that are, are like a, a biosolid, uh, which is, is kind of like the old malorganite fertilizer. It's a very low analysis fertilizer, so it's like a 411 uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. And, and in some instances, you know, there's pros and cons associated with using biosolids in the bag, uh, but that is one thing that can take the place of some of the rock filler. Right. A couple of the other things that, that from time to time get utilized in place of the rock filler are is lime, so, so pelletized lime. And there's certain times of the year that that's advantageous to, to have that in the bag instead of that rock fill material. Um, and then you can have you know things like enhanced lime products like our, our Atlantic Off and Turf's Coastal Cow, uh, which okay. basically is a, an even better and, and, and a more enhanced version of, of the, the lime because it's uh, blended, it's, it's ground down finer before it's pelletized and then it's blended with humic acid. So it releases so, faster? It releases faster and the humic acids uh, drive microbial activity and do some other really positive things in the soil. Uh, but yeah, the, 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 the rock fill is, is, you know, historically been the, the cheapest, the cleanest, the most efficient, the easiest one to spread. So that's the one that typically ends up in most lawn care fertilizer.